In this video, we'll be talking about balance transformers and their importance with antenna systems. The word balance stands for balance to unbalance. A balance connects a balanced antenna like a dipole to an unbalanced transmission line like coax and it also provides impedance matching. But more than that, it blocks common mode current as shown with the red arrows from traveling back to the shield of your coax which can mess with your signal and cause noise. Let's break it down and we'll also be designing a couple of balance. So watch this video to the end to fully understand how balance work and to see how to design your own custom made balance transformer. Now these numbers here from 1 to 1 right up to 8 to 1 are called impedance transformation ratio. This is how we identify balance transformers. The 1 to 1 and 4 to 1 are most often used within antenna transmission systems. Now underneath we have a transmitter connected to a 50 ohm coax with a 4 to 1 balance connecting the coax to a 200 ohm antenna. The 4 to 1 balance is necessary in order to achieve impedance matching between the coax and the antenna. And it also stops those undesirable R signals coming from the antenna before they get to the coax. These RF signals are called common mode current. Now underneath here we have a one-to-one -one ballon. Now the one-to-one -one ballon does not change impedance like the four-to-one on the other ballons. The one-to-one -one just prevent common mode current from getting back to the coax. Now a one-to-one -one ballon is also called a choke ballon. As I said before, the one-to-one -one ballon does not change impedance. What it does is to ensure equal and opposite current flow into the antenna by matching the unbalanced coax with the balanced dipole antenna. If the current on both sides of the antenna is plus or minus one amp, there won't be any common mode current flowing back from the antenna because the current is balanced on both sides. Now, in the real world, this is how it works. Even though we have a balance, we may have plus one amp on one element, but the other one we might have a minus 0 0.95, which is almost one amp, but it is not exactly one amp. So we will have some common mode current. Most of the time on every antenna system, you're going to have common mode current coming back. It may not be a lot, but any kind of common mode current that gets onto this cable would cause a problem. So the purpose of this ballon is to stop the common mode current from getting through to the cable. The ballon has two purposes. It connects balance to unbalance and it also stops common mode current from getting back to the coaxial cable. Now here we have a 4 to 1 ballon. Now a 4 to 1 ballon is really two 1 to 1 ballons connected together. Now once you connect them correctly you will have a working 4 to 1 ballon. Now, what the 4 to 1 ballon does that the 1 to 1 ballon couldn't do was that the 4 to 1 ballon does impedance matching. So it matches the impedance of a 50 ohm coaxial cable with the impedance of a 200 ohm antenna. The 1 to 1 couldn't do that. The 1 to 1 just connect a balance to an unbalanced, which basically a balanced antenna to an unbalanced coaxial cable. So the 4 to 1 ballon also does that and it also stops common mode current. So the 4 to 1 ballon really does everything the 1 to 1 ballon does and more. So next I'm going to show you how to design a 1 to 1 and 4 to 1 ballon. And I'll also provide you with a list of all the parts you'll need to build your own custom made 1 to 1 and 4 to 1 ballon. 
We're going to talk about how the one-to-one -one current balance is designed first of all. Now we're going to start at the beginning with the coaxial cable. Now the middle conductor of the coaxial cable is connected to A1 and the shield is connected to B1. This wire from A1 is wrapped around the toroid and so is B1. Uh, you wrap them together like this. One of these wires are going back to your shield and the other wire is going to your middle conductor. Now these two wires are always close together and on the inside of the toroid everything is very close together. See everything is touching on the inside here. Now on the outside just the two are touching and is separated and then the next turn, just the two are touching and they're separated again. It's important that these separations be the same distance. The same distance on the outside and the, on the inside, they all gotta be touching each other, okay? And you also gotta make sure this is really tight. You see, we have a tie wrap here and everything is nicely tight together. That's very important as well. Once you wind the turns around the, the toroid and your output for A1 which is the middle conductor would be A2 and the output for B1 would be B2 and you just connect this to the terminal which connects to one element of your dipole here in this case and on the other side you have B2 connecting to the terminal which connects you to the other side of the dipole the one-to-one -one current bottom is a very simple design, but it works very well. And this particular design, as I said before, connects balance to unbalance, and it also stops common mode currents. Now I have one other recommendation for the 1-1. Instead of having these wires beside each other like this, it is recommended that you twist them and you'll have three to four twists per every inch. So every one of these would have three to four twists per inch. Apparently doing it this way works better for suppressing common mode current. Well the first thing you want to do is to cut two pieces of 18 gauge wire whatever colors you may choose and you're going to twist those two pieces of wire together and then you're going to wrap them around the toroid. Now just in case you're wondering right now, well what turns ratio should I use? Uh, like you have no idea at this point what your turns ratio is supposed to be because we haven't covered that. Well this part is very simple. This depends on your frequency. 1 to 5 megahertz is 12 to 14 turns. 5 to 15 megahertz is 8 to 12 turns. 15 to 30 megahertz you have 6 to 8 turns and 30 to 54 megahertz you got 4 to 6 turns. Now if you look at this carefully you'll see that the turns decrease as the frequency get higher. So the lower the frequency the more turns you're going to have. The higher the frequency the less turns you have. And this works for both the 1 to 1 balun and the 4 to 1 balun. They both use the same toroid and they have the same turns ratio. So now we're designing the 4 to 1 balun with two toroids. This is our coaxial cable, this is the center conductor, this is the shield. We have A1, B1, A2 and B2. These represent the two toroids. A1 and B1 are wires connected to the first toroid. And A2 and B2 are wires connected to the second toroid. These are the input wires. Now it goes through a transformer function here, which is the actual toroid in this area. And this area is where you actually wrap your wires around like we see here, right? And the output here from A1 would be A3, B1, B3, A2, A4, and B2, B4. So let's get started and we're gonna connect everything now on the input. From the center conductor here, which is this center conductor on the, on the coaxial cable. We are going to A1 and A2. A1 on the first toroid and A2 on the second toroid. Now B1 
is connected to the shield and B2 is connected to the shield. B1 on the first toroid, B2 on the second toroid. Okay, so now it goes through this area here, the transformer area. So the output for A1 is A3, B1, B3, A2, A4, B2, B4. So we have our output here right now. So what is done here is that A3 and B3 are tied together. Okay, and then A4 and B4 are tied together. And that's basically it. From here on in, we just connect the antenna. So we connect one element of the dipole antenna to A3. Well, it could be B3 as well because they're tied together. And the other side of the element, we have connected to B4. It could also be A4 because they're tied together here as well. And that's basically it. This is how you design a 4 to 1 ballon using two thyroids. In the description below, I included a list of all of the products you'll need to build a 1 to 1 and 4 to 1 ballon transformer. If this video was helpful and you would like to see more videos like this one, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you'll be alerted when our new videos are released. This is Trevor from Telecom Training. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.